The gospel is a mes message of reconciliation between humans and God. And from that reconciliation, we are to reconcile with one another. This message was embedded in last week's and this week's gospel reading. We need to confront our biases. We need to confront our demonization. We need to confront our beliefs that make us feel superior to others. We need to open our hearts wider. We need to open our communities wider. We need to open our churches wider to include more and more people, to do life with more and different people, to experience God in the face of human diversity. Because God's not limited to our group. God doesn't only work within people you like. God is present among even your enemies, even as God is present among you. And God's Spirit is calling us, convicting us, nudging us to build bridges, to heal divides, to open our doors, to leave behind our limiting beliefs, and to see our world transformed into the beautiful, diverse kingdom of God. So this week, may each of us be open to the Spirit's leading. May each of us reach across a divide in our life. May we intentionally set aside our biases. May we choose to wage peace instead of division. And may more and more people experience the love and grace of God because of our commitment to be ministers of reconciliation and to follow the reconciling work of the Spirit of God in our lives.